Looks like the Hazer boys have done it again, messing around with integrating computers in the General Lee. Stay tuned to see how computers have impacted automotive technology. Why computers and cars? Before emission laws were enacted, it was possible to build a car engine without microprocessors. With the enactment of increasingly stricter emission laws, sophisticated control schemes were needed to regulate the air-fuel mixture so that the catalytic converter could remove a lot of the pollution from the exhaust. One of the best innovations that electronics has created in the performance of automobiles is the electronic fuel injection, or EFI for short. Different from the carburetor, the EFI uses a style of technology to supply power to the engine. The EFI system electronically meters the fuel so that the exact amount needed is provided to the engine. This technology prevents the engine from flooding by not allowing too much fuel to get to the engine while being more efficient and emission friendly. The EFI is compatible with alternative fuels and more reliable than the traditional carburetor. It also provides a smoother ride and more engine power. In January of 1958 is when the Chrysler DeSoto was built, being one of the first manufactured cars to include electronic fuel injection. Later other sensors like mass airflow sensors were added relaying messages back to the EFI to keep the air and fuel mixture correct for all demands. These may not seem like the computers we know, but the electronic fuel injector and the mass airflow sensor are the most primitive type of computers in automobiles. Night Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Hello, Michael. I am the Night Industries 2000 better known as HID. My advanced computer technologies far exceeds that of the General Lee. Now let's hear what Paddy Oatby has to say about present day computers and cars. What does a present day computer in a car look like? This is an example of a typical electronic control unit better known as the ECU. The ECU in present day cars is encased in hard metal to protect its vital components. A modern ECU might contain a 32-bit, 500 to 1000 megahertz processor. This may not sound fast compared to the 2 to 3 gigahertz processor you probably have in your PC, but remember that the processor in your car is running much more efficient code than the one in your PC. The code in an average ECU takes up less than 1 megabyte of memory. How does a computer in a car work? The ECU receives signals from the sensors that are attached to critical components of a vehicle. The sensors all feed information back into the computer via a wiring harness that connects to these pins. These sensors are also known as input devices. Each of the, these sensors can contain one or multiple microprocessors sending information back to the ECU. Based on the instructions that are flashed in the computer's memory, decisions are made on fuel management, braking, steering, and safety features. The following is a typical computer and sensor system. The ECU is located here. You can think of this as the brain of the system. These are a few examples of the type of sensors that monitor your engine's performance. Mass airflow sensor, throttle position sensor, manifold absolute pressure sensor, coolant temperature sensor, exhaust oxygen sensor, crankshaft position sensor, and camshaft position sensor. Advanced diagnostics. Issues or trouble codes are later stored in the computer's memory for a technician to investigate. If there are any issues with the systems on the vehicle, a technician can later display this information. All modern vehicles with a computer system have an access port to interface with a diagnostic tool. 
A modus is an example of a diagnostic tool made by Snap-on. It can be used to examine these codes and troubleshoot any issues. The modus would be an example of an output device. Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough roads to get up to 88. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Heads-up display is becoming ever more popular and will be the norm for the car in the future. Typical information found on the heads-up display is how fast you're traveling, what gear you're in, and even the outside temperature, helping drivers keep their eyes on the road. Taking heads-up display to the next level, infrared cameras can be used on foggy days to measure where the side of the road is located. Lasers will paint the road on the windshield, making it safer for drivers in hazardous conditions. This technology can also improve vision and safety at night. Radar and laser tracking will be used to help identify objects in the road such as street signs and other important information and can be displayed on the windshield. Now let's see it all put together. Lower left hand corner we have miles per hour and what gear we're in. We've got an arrow pointing on the road showing which direction we're traveling. As we see a car coming down the road it's highlighted in red to make the driver aware and it's green when it's safe to pass by. As a pedestrian goes into the road they turn red and then back to green once they step up onto the curb. Now traveling around a blind turn here sometimes it's difficult to see when other cars are coming so the heads-up display can warn you and even let you know the traffic laws letting you know the yield for this car and let them pass by safely. Another way heads-up display will work is it could actually be integrated with your smartphone. Here you see the Android and a map of where you're located on the road. Then you have a friend call in, and it'll actually fast forward to the location they are, show their speech on the screen, and you can even see from a camera on their car what traffic conditions may look like up ahead. Another new feature of Cars of the Future will be cars will be directly connected to the internet. Cars will communicate with Wi Fi towers around the country just like a mobile computer or smartphone does. Why is this important you may ask? Have you ever walked out of the mall and noticed the new scrape on your car that wasn't there before and no one left a note to let you know what happened? Well the car of the future will have tiny cameras all around it that will be able to take pictures of this car and possibly even the license plate and then email those pictures back to your smartphone letting you know what happened. Another good use will be let's say it's dark outside and you may be afraid to go out to your car because you're in a bad neighborhood well now with cars of the future they'll have cameras in there and they can email you pictures of any bad guys that are out there waiting to get you hopefully the coast is clear another way that computers and cars are being integrated together is you will be able to email your car maps and directions BMW one of the pioneering automobile manufacturers has teamed up with Google and this technology is in its infancy. You'll be able to send the message to your car and then once inside your car you'll be able to select that information via the onboard computer inside your vehicle. That onboard computer just like GPS will calculate the best route possible and after that safety first put on your seatbelt and you're on your way down the information highway.